do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us solve question number 21 of physics advanced paper 1 jwe 2014 code 8 so let us solve question number 21 let us solve question number 21 this is the paper 2 this is paper 2 in paper 1 we have solved uh, 20 questions that is paper 1 of 2014 this is paper 2 of 2014 this is the first question of uh, code 8 this is our first question uh, and we have written this as 21 Elevate. This is question number one of paper two. It says that a tennis ball is uh, dropped on a horizontal smooth surface. This is a horizontal surface, smooth surface on which a tennis ball is dropped. This ball is dropped and it will follow the straight line path and hit the ground. The force on the ball during the collision is proportional to the length of compression of the ball because we know that when the ball hits it, it, uh, it is compressed, the shape is changed. Suppose that the ball uh, becomes like that, like that, so this part, this much is compressed, that is suppose x is the compression that is produced, so this part is compressed then it says that the force exerted on the ball is uh, proportional to the compression the force is uh, proportional to the compression the more it is uh, compressed the more the force uh, the ball will exert so the question is to find uh, which curve this uh, graph is uh, describing the nearly the actual variations of kinetic energy with time so this is the kinetic energy in y direction and uh, x axis we have uh, time so we have to find which of the following uh, graphs is correct when the ball uh, hits it and then goes back to the observation so once it is dropped and then goes up to the same height the height is same the, the kinetic energy is uh, depending mostly on the uh, speed square so we know that the kinetic energy is half mv square and uh, as the time passes uh, for the time t suppose it take time t to hit the ground then uh, the velocity is keep on will increase the velocity keeps increasing till it hits the ground so you can see that kinetic energy proportional to v square or in terms of time in terms of time then uh, with what velocity will hit the ground the velocity is uh, initially it is zero then uh, g into t this is the velocity will hit the ground so the kinetic energy of uh, will, uh, will be like this half m uh, g square t square this is the kinetic energy as a function of time our time initially the kinetic is zero because the ball was released u is zero t is zero so t is zero kinetic energy is zero the graph must start from origin all the graphs start from origin then afterwards as time increases this kinetic energy increases but then kinetic energy is proportional to t square y is proportional to x square so the graph will be something like uh, concave it will be concave because the kinetic energy will keep on increasing in a parabolic uh, path so this path is parabolic this is the equation of parabola the path is parabolic and therefore this will uh, be this one this is not the case because the uh, y proportional to x square is like that so this is the case or this is the case or so out of these two we have to pick one so firstly that uh, so now 
I have the equation y proportional to x square, the curve will be something like this. That if I put this is x and this is y, if I put 1, it will be 1. If I put 2, it will be 4. 4 is somewhere here. So it will be like that. The curve will be like this. So here also I have kinetic energy, which is uh, half m uh, v square, g square, t square. These are all constant. During that small path, uh, this g is constant. So kinetic energy is proportional to square of t. This is just like that. So if I plot the graph, it will be starting from, it will be like that only. So it's called. So we have two choices. One is two and three, both are like that. Next is that uh, as it hits the kinetic energy immediately comes to zero because the then the ball for a very fraction of second but momentarily it will come to rest so the speed with which hit the ground and then the speed uh, it gets compressed and finally becomes zero so by the time it hits and by the time the ball gets compressed finally the ball comes to rest so during that of time the kinetic energy is uh, decreasing from the maximum value to zero so it will have this path like this it will follow this path and it will become zero so this is the time when the uh, kinetic energy is zero you can see here this will be the zero and then again it will uh, be like that increase because uh, the ball has to move forward the kinetic energy will immediately uh, become the same energy with which it hits the same energy it will be provided to the ball so that it will reach the uh, maximum height so because they have to reach the maximum height the same maximum height because the ball is dropped from here and then bounces back to the same height so energy here and energy uh, while it is hitting or while it is living must be same because it has to act in the same height so the from the floor it has to start from the from the floor it will start from the same energy so again uh, the energy will keep on decreasing and become zero at its highest point so this is the second situation when the kinetic energy will become zero and it has to decrease and this will be decreasing like that the way it was increasing the same way it will decrease okay so it is decreasing and this is increasing so therefore this would be the situation and therefore this would be the correct answer okay it is not like that uh, you know, when it hits its maximum and uh, then it's constant then becomes this is not the case it has to be rest also because ball has to come to a rest because uh, this doesn't show any rest of the because always it shows kinetic energy from this part to this part of the collision or the time for which the object was in contact with the surface it shows no kind of, that is always existing kinetic energy while in practice it has to be zero because the ball has to come to rest uh, for uh, very fractions or of, of seconds so therefore the option number two is the correct option correct answer to this question okay thank you